going on, RC drivers? Welcome back to the channel. We've got a new release from Axial to check out today. And rather than unbox it in the workshop, I figured, you know what? Let's just bring it right to the trail. I've got my family along with me. We're just gonna take them for a drive. I'll tell you about all the new features on it while we have some fun. All right, so I've already got my rig out of the box. I shot some details back at the workshop, but I'm just gonna show you how easy it is to get these things going. That's what the new base camp is about. They're the SCX 10.3 base camps. They are available in three different colors. And I think my boys are really gonna like these because they're blue, green, and I'm gonna take the gray one there. But here they are, check this out. I mean, just pure unboxing straight from the factory. And of course, the slow dropout, there we go. <laughs> All right, so first up we've got the, looks like we've got the green one here. Jake, where are you at? This is yours, buddy. You're all about the green trucks, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so here we go. This is how you get it right out of the box. Mm -hmm. This is the radio here. We'll cut this off. And what's cool about the base camp is that these are built for anybody. So if you're new in RC, you'll just be able to take this out of the box just like this, charge up a battery, throw it in the truck, and you'll be ready to go. There it is. Check that out. What do you think, bud? Cool. There we go. All right, so this slides out of here. Comes with some Mickey Mouse ears. Check that out. It's just protection there so it doesn't get scraped up. I think it's going to get scraped up today, though. Now we just got to cut this out of the bottom of the box. Oh, let's check what else comes in the box. We've got some AA batteries for the radio, a cross wrench. And it looks like some shock pistons as well. There we go. All right, can you take the body clips off so we can put the battery in for you. Here's your battery, you wanna try putting your battery into the Velcro strap there? And here is your remote, your radio system. Ready for your truck, Logan? And so you turn it on back here, push that. See if the red light's on on the front. There we go. And the on off switch is just plugging in the battery. So, let's plug this in. Should be ready to go. All right, let's see. Nice. All right, you ready? Your radio's on? Yep. Nice. Some throttle? Perfect. All right, you guys ready to go hiking or what? All right, so as you guys saw, the base camp has a new body on it. It's not a licensed body, but to me, it kind of looks like a Toyota Tacoma. It's got some pretty cool lines on there. Obviously, again, there's three different uh, colors to it. Decals look pretty cool. And it's a nice lightweight body. Oh, you're gonna go for it, huh? Go for the bridge crossing. Up, oh, oh, uh-oh. Oh. Got some reverse points there, buddy. Oh, I think you got it. Back up and punch it. There you go. Nice. Oh. 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 I think you have to go to the left. There you go. Nice. Are right, you guys ready? Let's do this. Oh, come on. Got new Falcon Wall Peak tires on here, just digging in. I think it is a little too loose for these. There we go, come on. Let's see who can get up it. Let's get some speed. Oh, they're digging in. <laughs> they wanna go, they wanna go. There you go, nice. Good call.
So what's also new on the base camp is it has a new transmission in there. We don't have that shifting transmission anymore with the dig. Nice, simple transmission, low center of gravity to it, and all metal gears. All right, guys, we just had an awesome time wheeling the new base camp. Why don't we head back to the workshop? I'll give you a few more details about the new rig. What a great first experience with the Axial SCX-10.3 base camp. You guys saw it. We pulled the trucks out of the box right there on the trailhead, went out and had an absolute blast. My kids love driving these things. We didn't have any problems with them at all, and they are very capable. And that's what this new base camp is all about. Just making it easy to get into RC, or if you're already experienced in RC, this is a great platform to build off of. There are a few things that I missed on the trail, though, when I was talking about the features, and that's why we're back here in the workshop I want to talk about those features and I'm going to go over the other ones that I did mention just really quickly and first up is the body on here it is a single piece Lexan body it's available in the three different colors that you guys saw and they went back to the universal mounting body system aka we've got body posts on here four body clips which just makes it easy when you go to swap out bodies you know everything is right here much easier to access uh, for aftermarket bodies uh, I really like the look of this it's very Toyota like as I mentioned before nice decals on here uh sponsored decals on the side even like the little logo with the mountain out back with the axial that's very cool and the one thing i didn't mention before while talking about the exterior are the bumpers on here it has a fully licensed to mellow front bumper really cool looking bumper it has a good approach angle to it We've got our shackles hanging down looks like we could put led lights in there like the bull bar in the front nice look overall really goes with the body and then it has a matching rear bumper as well check that out looks really good and again uh, that departure angle looks like it'll be just fine uh, might as well talk about the wheels and tires too while we're looking at the outside of the truck so we've got black rhino wheels i absolutely love these wheels again still want them for my real jeep gladiator but i'll just have to settle for them in rc on my rigs right now and mounted to them are brand new falcon wild peak tires and axial already had falcon wild peak tires but these are a revised design as you can see they're a little bit taller we've got more of a sharp edge to them uh, nice and wide so they should have plenty of traction and in comparison to the old one uh, i like these a lot better they did a great job on the redesign all right let me pull off the body so you guys could check out the chassis and it has the same steel c channel frame rail to it uh, all the same bracing throughout uh, one of the things i want to point out to you is it does have the new metal pan hard bar that's really cool to see that it comes included in the kit because people were breaking the plastic one cool upgrade there uh, moving a little bit farther back we've got new or i should say slightly redesigned shocks from what i've been told it looks like they've revised the shock cap on these shocks the rest of it looks the same red springs on here feels really good for a stock setup right out of the box and then i want to point out the links while we're talking about the suspension so we don't have those large adjustable links anymore these are the 3.5 millimeter links on here uh, still metal at least so that is a benefit rather over plastic which can flex but those 3.5 millimeter rods are throughout the entire kit so that helps reduce the cost a little bit but again still like that they're metal uh, they are the AR45 axles front and rear on this. No real changes there. Uh, ball bearings inside, metal gears, and they did keep the universal axles in the front. Pretty awesome. Now on to the really big change that we need to talk about, the transmission. This is the LCXU transmission. It's got a lower center of gravity than the previous transmissions. It is a five-year transmission, all metal gears on the inside, all ball bearings. Uh, the spur gear is locked out. It's got a cr pretty cool plate that it keys into. Uh, so that should be a solid setup. And it actually keys into a new uh, lower skid plate as well. So just be aware of that. If you're looking to maybe swap out your existing SCX-10 transmission for this LCXU, that lower part of the transmission does key into that skid plate. Now, this transmission as it sits is set up for the portal style of axles. And if you ever wanna go and put a straight axle kit in there, this transmission is set up so you could easily do that. You do have to go and buy the spare gear set 
that Axial offers to replace the gears on the inside. In that gear set, they will give you the gear that will work with these standard axles. So just be aware of that. You can't just go drop this in uh, with some standard axles. You need that extra gear. Uh, other than that, we've got uh, the 614 metal geared servo up front. I like that they have a metal servo horn on there. Uh, over here, we've got the Spectrum AE5. Do they still call it the AE5? Uh, they don't have any number on it from what I could tell, but it looks like it's kind of a rebadged AE5. I do like that they go and tell you it's 2 to 3S LiPo and it's a 6 volt BEC in there. That's pretty neat. Uh, IC3 connector and it powers a 35 turn motor. For the radio system, it comes with the SLT3 radio, which is good radio, and it's made it up to the SR315 receiver, which has a conformal coating on it. So, um, you know, it's basically water resistant. I went and ran this thing through water already, a little spoiler alert, and didn't have any issues with it. All right, that's all you need to know about the Axial Base Camp. Now, I wanna show you some rock crawling because we didn't get to do that over at the trails, and make sure you stick around to the end because if you pick one of these up, there's a tweak that you need to make, and I'll let you know what it is.
The base cape is just an excellent addition to the Axial lineup. We had a great time driving these things over on the trails, just created a lot of family memories. And that's part of the Axial lifestyle is just going out, having fun with family and friends. And we are gonna be talking about that trip for a long time to come. It was pretty capable over there on the walking trails, up some of that sandy, hilly terrain. Uh, the tires were digging in, but uh, just mobbing through some of the sand was a lot of fun. Uh, we did find some spots to crawl and the kids just had a blast with these things. So easy for them to use. Uh, but after, obviously I went over to a uh, another location that I usually test at and there was plenty of rock faces there for me to crawl up, get a good feel for this thing. And the tires actually do pretty well i like these new tires when they weren't covered in mud everything was kind of covered in mud over there from the water dropping but they did have some pretty good traction to them uh the edges on these will catch some rock and help pull it up and over uh like a usual ready to run crawler it could always benefit from some more weight up front for those of you that are you know looking at this rig to build up as a project you know again a little bit of weight is of course going to be your friend but uh you know the motor was pretty smooth it's uh, equipment we We've seen before the steering was decent for the standard servo probably got to grow out of that stuff if you're you know into rc and you're using this as a base vehicle but for those of you that are just having fun the electronics in here are just fine for your fun crawls uh no click from the transmission the new transmission in there doesn't click so for those of you that are wondering about that because the previous scx 10 3s were a little noisy that noise is gone. You don't have to worry about that. Uh, the one thing that I need to tell you guys about is the bumper setup right out of the box. That's what I was mentioning earlier. Uh, they have it set all the way back in for you know a better approach angle. However, with you when you start articulating with this, going over some rock faces and stuff, uh, those tires will catch that front bumper. So they suggest, and I suggest, uh, moving the uh, front bumper out one hole, and that will give you some more clearance. The body did catch the wheels here and there. The wheels caught the body here and there. Um, when reversing, I did kind of fold over the rear bumper. That rear bumper is pretty wide, uh, and it just caught something and pulled down, and now I've got a gap on one of the other trucks um, but there's no durability issues. We rolled these things a couple of times, uh, ran them through the water, no issue. Uh, just an absolute blast for whatever use you have planned for this. Again, whether you're just starting out or you're already experienced and you need a new base vehicle for a project, this is the one. This is awesome from Axial. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. While you're down there, check out the links in the video description, hit the subscribe button, the notifications bell, throw the video a like, and we'll see you back soon for some RC driver videos.